new beautiful caves and a new player experience coming in 318 and beyond and more. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Phase One. Welcome to another episode of The Uplink, where we cover the latest Star Citizen news from the previous week. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreons and channel members. All right, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Last week inside Star Citizen episode was the new wave caves. Star Citizen 3.18 will debut the new sand cave archetypes. CIG has developed new workflows that result in better cave visuals and performance. This new workflow is not only artist friendly, but it has simplified things so well that a designer can create a beautiful looking cave such as this one before an artist actually gets their hands on it. On initial implementation, these sand caves will not only be on Daymar, but they will be on Ida, Magda, Walla, and Hurston. An improvement they made is smoother caves when your character walks through. The current rock caves in 3.17.2 are bumpy and are not conducive with performance. They ensure to add more natural light sources in these caves. This makes things significantly more aesthetically pleasing. In the first release, these caves will not have missions, but they will add them in subsequent patches. Initially, these caves will be walkable only. In the next year, they intend to add the new rock, acidic, ice, and overgrown archetypes as well. In the second half of Inside Star Citizen, they talked about the new player experience. The new player experience will be training players in their halves, how to go to shops, how to go to the spaceport, how to get to the hangar, what buttons to push, and even light missions like ship combat and FPS combat. They intend to have contextual hints that will pop up based on where you are and the state of your character. They're waiting on a new FPS HUD from Squadron 42. Once it's ready, it will be ported over to the PU, which will allow them to add these contextual hints. The new player experience will not only be available in-game, but there will also be options in the main menu for you to learn more about the game. They intend to update the signages in the major landing zones to help players move through large areas. In other news, the Jumptown Dynamic event has been initiated last Friday, August 26, and it will last for two weekends. Also to celebrate 21 years, Toby is offering 21% off of the Toby Eye Tracker 5. This promotion will last until September 12, 2022. If you're interested, you can use the link down below to help support this channel. Hey, I got more videos like this. Make sure to check it out. I'll see you on the next one.